Right. Um, first off, everyone wants, needs to introduce their characters. So, Adam, who are you? I'm Jeff the Butcher. I'm a, cy- I'm a cyclops. Okay. Who's ah. visually, visually impaired. Okay. You got one <laughs> eye though. Um, I can just critical. I can just punch things basically, and I have one arm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's, he's got one arm. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like he started already having shot himself in the leg. No, but I have a cleaver but, for the other for the, for the missing hand. I have a cleaver. So ah, uh, what stuff have you got, you're going to bring? Oh, you're bringing I've got with ten you? gold as normal. You got ten gold. Four rations. Wait. Four rations. Yeah. A set of child's clothing. A fitting <laughs> set. <laughs> okay. Flint and steel and a binocular so I can see properly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Okay, Lewis. Yeah. Celsius, you're a you're a night elf. Okay. Yeah. Is that spelled with a K or an M? It doesn't matter as long as you can read it. <laughs> <laughs> night elf. Oh, I'm specific. Um, it's because specific it allows name. you to be what you are. Uh, your class, which is your, you wanted to be a pyromancer. Yeah. Yeah. So pyromancer slash fire mage. Um, you've got dark blue skin. Uh, less than average height. You got bright, fiery red eyes and a thin and thin orange hair with a matching chin strap. Um, so less than average height in this group means about eight foot high, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, well, he's like minute compared to everyone else. So we're think we're looking at um, three and a half feet, four feet. It's pretty short. He's like he's like a child. He's like a child, but mighty because he's got he can make fire. You're very good at declaring war on things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> and we didn't actually establish anything in your inventory, so all you've got is twenty five gold. Um, Unless there's anything you you've suddenly. Reveal to have in your backpack or whatever your box of kittens. So you've got a box of kittens. <laughs> 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 do you have a Nicholas Cage? Nick, uh, no, I do have Nicholas Cage actually, don't I? Um, oh, actually, no, I forgot. Yeah, you actually have a pet baby phoenix called Nicholas Cage. <laughs> <laughs> um, who, a pet B, Lewis. You might want to write that down as well. I think um, I should have a higher willpower. Like, no, willpower seven is pretty good compared to everyone else, I apart have three, from. Lewis. I have three. Two other people. Oh. Yeah. He's not very <laughs> intelligent. That's because you're so persuadable. <laughs> That's how he lost his first arm. Oh, Nicholas's stats are six hit points. Six hit, hit points. Two attack strength. Eight dex. Yeah. yeah. Four will. More, that bird's got more, more willpower than I have. <laughs> yeah, think about it. That 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 phoenix does whatever I say. So think about what think about what you do. <laughs> yeah. I how, control the phoenix. Think about how obedient Adam must be. <laughs> yeah. Um, right, Zhao. Zhao is a ent possessed, which is a possessed tree. Um, should I say my class? Yeah. I'm a golem. Whatever that means. Um, my bio, 10 foot tall, tree as features, branches for limbs. <laughs> right. Tree as features. Yes, yes. Tree as features, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. It's very vague. <laughs> well, there's not really much else, much else to say if you're a I have basket tree. shit. <laughs> okay, my inventory consists of seeds, <laughs> sticks, yeah. compass, rope. Compass. What's a pompous? A compass. compass. A pompous. 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 He's, compass. Got, compass. He's, got, he's got a compass. Compass. Rope. Hallucinogenic drugs. Uh. <laughs> and high school Bukaki slut seven. This time it's rectal DVD. In case we get bored. Just in case he finds something. Wait, I didn't really understand what that was. Was he, that basically a porn? He's got a DVD. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Which he's just gonna endlessly ask people if he has something to play on. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy using You could that use one. that as a very good bargaining chip, actually. You could use that. Um, I'll this. Okay, uh, Louise. I'm a giant jelly 
Um, so I'm a big, I'm, hang on, eight foot tall, a giant jelly creature. My name is Frank. <laughs> Okay. And I'm an aspiring sorcerer, but I'm settling for a chef at the moment. Right. Um, and my inventory is a spatula. Yeah. A jar of cinnamon. Right. A carved air freshener. Right. And twenty gold. So, Brilliant. Okay. What's your what? What are you good at? What's your skill? Wobbling. Well, I yeah, have a skill for in or on water. Yeah. So, okay. Okay, so Tom. I am Augustus. I am undead. My class is a lich. I am of medium height. I am. I have grey skin. I am completely emaciated. I have short length grey hair, blue eyes and a slit throat. <laughs> and my inventory consists of a bottle of scented oil, a silver ring and a hip flask. Nice. Nice. What, what are you good at? Uh, sword play, so like stabbing shit. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. We all know what we are now. Let's go. Let's go. <clears throat> right, you are all you are all on an epic quest for adventure and have banded together in search for glory. You've begun your journey and have set up camp on the snowy shore of Tamhelm, an Arctic province of snow and winter, surrounded by a vast icy ocean. So the first thing you want to ask yourselves, you're in this camp. How, how did you all? How did you all come across one another? Um, and what what led you all here to this sort of rather desolate, desolate place? Drunken fight outside a pub. Sounds good. <laughs> who who started the fight? Who was it between? I broke the tree. <laughs> so so we got we got Jeff. He he looks across the bar and just sees this tree. And is just instantly <laughs> insulted by his presence. You put and, leaf in my drink. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he might have been. He might have been trying to like spike, flavour it. You put a leaf in my drink. <laughs> and um, and what? And um, Xiao, why would why did you put a leaf in his drink? <laughs> well, I thought it'd be, I was reading his mind, and I just thought he was gen generally grumpy. And I realised he, he was blind, so he just he just wouldn't see you. You didn't see me across the bar. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> you, I have, I have yours. Like I had my own yeah. What yeah. type of leaf was it? Was it like uh, was it like an apple? Oak leaf. Oak leaf. Oh, hang on, leaf. hang on. Is that a leaf of paper? Is that a leaf? He's a parasite. Too. Was this leaf basically like your balls, Jules? <laughs> <laughs> Did you teabag his drink? Oh, it was my tongue. That would have made him want to fight. That would have made him want to fight. So okay, so you, so Jeff and Zhao start fighting over this drink. What about everyone else? Like Celsius, where, where are you at this point? I'm robbing everyone. I was the chef in the pub, and well, I'm, I'm aspiring to be a sorcerer, so I thought I'd mm. tag along. You want? Do you think this would be a moment a to test your? Job. Yeah. Do you think this would be a moment to test yeah. your magic skills? What about um, Augustus? What are you doing? How, 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 I think it's your, you're dead, aren't you? How did you get, how are you just in this, this pub, just like, welcomed by everyone? I was in the corner, drinking myself to sleep, thinking about how pathetic my life is, because I'm dead. Right. And okay. I realised they're going somewhere cold, I could go there and die peacefully, because my cat was like, like, press or something. <laughs> right, okay. So you all just, you all just thought, you know what, we, we all want, we all want a bit of adventure. Let's all just yeah. go off. To like the wilderness, <laughs> we don't know where we're going. We're just gonna go there. All right. Well, um, so you you all you all talk about this when when you guys all first first met in the camp, um, and you gather your things up and set off along the shoreline. Uh, as you're walking, you notice, um, despite the sun being out, there's still a thick layer of snow covering the ground and everything that you can see. Um, eventually, as you're walking, you spot a young man chained to a stone wearing nothing but some rugged undergarments and a blank wooden mask. His body is covered in red symbols, and there is an arctic wolf circling around him. Is it Prometheus? Can I read his mind? You want to try and read his mind? <laughs> yes, please. Okay. Alright, what's your, what's your will again? Eight. I'm going to just read everyone's mind as soon as I can. 
Okay, you read his mind, and it's full of thoughts of fear and and terror. He he's absolutely he doesn't know what he can't remember why he's there. He doesn't know how he ended up there, but um, he he knows there's something. There could be something out there. He doesn't know the wolf's there, but he's worried that any any second now something's going to see him and just gobble him up. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, Jeff, what, what do you, what, how do you react to this? Well, I have a history of partial cannibalism, so I'm slightly tempted by eating him. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're, so you're thinking about whether or not. But you got the wolf there. You're not going to eat the wolf and no, save him. I eat, people, I eat things that are human ish. But if, if you're a cyclops human-ish. and you're a cannibal, aren't you going to eat other cyclopses? Not... Well, he's close enough to a cyclops. I get it's, hungry, it's, I get nothing, it's nothing like. Okay, alright, so you're, you're looking at him, sort of like you're licking As your a lips. Snack. Celsius, how do you react to this? What do you, what do you want to do about this? What to the cyclops eating people? No, to um. <laughs> well, yeah, unless you want to, yeah, you react to that. What you, what do you want to do about the the young man tied to the rock who looks like he's about to get eaten? Um. Mm. <laughs> mm, what's he look like? Um. Well, he's only wearing undergarments. He's got a wooden mask over his face. He, he's fair-skinned. Um, he's his bod- His whole body is covered in these like sort of like red symbols. They look a bit like tattoos, but the you know you're not sure. You're not sure. But um, but he he looks absolutely terrified for his life. Even though you can't see his face, he's like he's like shivering. He's probably terrified because a bunch of random guys. He's also up. he's he doesn't know you're there yet, but he's shivering oh. as well because it's like freezing. Um, let's see how things play out. This would be entertaining. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Zhao, what, what are you going to do about this? Um. Ah. Oh, can I poke him with a stick? <laughs> You're going to poke? Wait, who? The what? Stick. The stranger? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to poke the stranger with a stick. But if you do that, um, this is the wolf... this has gone straight back to shoving your balls into that. <laughs> <laughs> Having my fist in his face. Well, just in case he might have it there. Right. <laughs> is that you? I mean, I... Are you choking on like you salivating no, no, over no, the, 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 the stranger? Yours is a tree. The, the wolf will piss on him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. So Zhao, what, what what do you want to do with that? Can I throw a stick to distract the wolf? Is it a squeaky limb? Would you like to lose, Jules? Okay. Um, what's your what's your dex, Jules? Do you want to do that? Do you want to just throw a stick? Yeah. Okay, right. If you, and what's your dex? Two. <laughs> okay, so you're not very. Okay, um, describe how how you do this then. How you get throw a stick for him? Um, I'm going to rip off my left index finger. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I'm going to get a really long lob with my le- with my um, left arm. And I'm just going to try and throw it as far as I can at a 45 degree angle, as far away on the other side of the wolf as I can. Okay, and hoping that the wolf sees it. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, you rolled really high for that, but your dex is still really low, so... <laughs> you do you do a fantastic throw, okay, but because your, your dex is so low, it goes straight up in the air. Like, straight up. <laughs> Okay, um, and while it's while it's up in the air, um, Frank, you've got you've got a chance to act here, while um, Zhao is throwing the stick straight up in the air. <laughs> it's so high up. It's such a good. Th- you roll ten, because it's such a good throw. It just like it goes past the clouds and you can't see it. <laughs> it's such a good throw, but it's just because you're so unskilled. It just. I mean, imagine if it went straight down. That would have been pretty bad. But <laughs> so, yeah. So Frank, what are you gonna do while Zhao's doing this, and while the other two are just sort of watching this um, unfold? I don't know. I don't know really. Well, what do you want to do? Do you want to try and save this stranger, or are you gonna just, just ignore him? Gonna sit there and wobble. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised you're not looking at Frank and thinking, oh, that looks tasty. <laughs> Just this hot, this, this dessert next to you, but you're more interested in this non-cyclops creep man who's scared yeah. for his life. Um, 
do you want to save this guy or not, basically? Yeah. Um, you're going to look at your surroundings? Are you going to try and interfere with the wolf or the stranger? Test your magic. You can look at, look at your inventory. You can use anything you've got in there. I've tried throwing some cinnamon into the wolf's eyes. Has no one thought of simply ignoring them and just carry on going? Keep on going. I'm sort of sitting... <laughs> just like um, <laughs> you've lit, you, you've you, you've lit a fire guy. You can just like make a bag of popcorn. In, yeah, know? you've lit a little fire in front of you, and you're cooking popcorn <laughs> as you're watching this happen. Um, but uh, okay, so you're gonna put you're gonna try and put cinnamon on the wolf size. Oh yeah, but we're okay. quite far away though, aren't we? Yeah, you're so you're you gonna you're gonna just slide towards it and literally just pour put it on its eyes or. <laughs> How are you gonna how are you gonna go about this? So maybe that's not a very good idea. So I just roll for it and tell it to see what happens. Not. Yeah, okay. Okay, All right, okay. You you glide across the snow towards the wolf. The the wolf sees you and starts it starts running towards you. It's not interested in the stranger, it starts running towards you, okay? It's it's growling as it does it, and then you get the cinnamon out, um, and you you what, what, you shake it <laughs> frantically. <laughs> you're scared. You're shaking it, just everything. You're just flaying it up yeah, and down, and it's going down. everywhere. Yeah. It's it's going all over the eyes. snow, you, and it just it just covers the wolf. You, you don't know if it's gone <laughs> in the eyes or not. The wolf is just brown now, right. <laughs> covered in cinnamon. Um, oh, it goes in its eyes. It, it it goes in its eyes and the wolf starts like it start it, it lies down and starts rubbing its face with its front legs um, and yeah you've got it in its eyes so um, right Augustus what are you what are you doing I simply rub my hands together crouch in the snow and take a sip from my glass and watch watch unfold right so you're watching as you're well. joining me then. you're, you're joining right now the stick um, is it's landed. <laughs> And it's landed straight onto the wolf's head, <laughs> and it's actually sort of almost gone in the wolf's head because you snapped it, um, and it made like a sort of sharp bit, and it's gone into the wolf. Um, it's still alive, but it's 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 gone into its brain a bit, and it's a bit confused, and it's kind of like it's it's all pretty much dead now, and it can't see. Its eyes have like swollen, bright red. Um, it's not looking too great for the wolf. The wolf doesn't look like it's in any shape to do anything else because you <laughs> covered it in cinnamon um, and impaled it with one of your fingers from the sky. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> what What are you gonna do? Can I go up to the crazy dude? Okay. And just poke him with a stick. <laughs> Right. What, what, the same stick that you're just going to pull it out of the wall? Yeah, I'm going to pull it out of the I need to ask this question. Yeah. Because are you a walking tree? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were, like, stationary a couple of miles back and just throwing stuff at us. What, like, <laughs> expecting someone to just carry him? Or, like, replant him as we go along? <laughs> <laughs> my seeds will my seeds will carry on my legacy a few meter from where I die every the, time. The legacy of Zhao. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna you're gonna take what are you gonna do? You're gonna so I'm you... gonna rip out the wolf's brains on a stick. Right. <laughs> you're gonna go cook them on the fire? <laughs> no. no, 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 no. Well, Lewis could make one. <laughs> okay, so you've killed the wolf. Yeah. The wolf's dead now. Bastard. <laughs> um and what are you doing now? Um can I offer some brains to the crazy dude? He's. Do you want to do that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Go for it. All right. Um. All right. You approach the stranger. He, he can hit. He, he he can now hear that there's other. You know. He hears all this going on. Um. And first thing on his mind is just he doesn't care what's happening. He he just hears that he can just hear this thumping of you just coming closer. Um, and he and he's and he's like, hello, is, is someone there? But please help me! D don't don't let it get me. I I'll do anything. I, I know a town nearby. I'll help you get there. Just just don't leave me, please. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna rip out my compass. <laughs> rip it out. What? Oh. I don't know. I'm a tree. What okay. All right. Okay. It's all engraved. Is it all? Is your inventory just engraved in the bark? 
Or is yeah, it, no, 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 what, what, tree, it should, it should be a... it should be like hanging from the branches, <laughs> like like a washing line. But you've just got all this all your inventory, just <laughs> just like out on display. <laughs> okay, we'll do that. Um, all right, yeah, and then you what? You just you you pluck it out and then ask him to point towards the town. Okay, um, you fail in receiving any information from him because he's got a mask over his face, so he can't see the compass. He does. He can't see what you're doing, and he's oh. still absolutely terrified. What are you gonna do here? Give him a hug. To hug, yeah, but so. you know what happens when you do that. You just do, do you just want to hug him? Do you want to kill him? Basically, do you want to kill? Him? No, I don't. Okay, so you just want to hug him. The attention. Right. So you go up to him and you just give him a nice hug, and he's totally freaked out because he just feels this sort of gelatine <laughs> texture skin on him, and yeah. he's not wearing anything, so it feels like uber freaky. And he's yeah. like, to- he's like, oh, he doesn't know what to. Well, he's chained up, so he can't like escape. Somebody he just lets out this wail. wail, just like yeah. when you when you hug him. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm like this eight foot Does someone want to just like explain to him that you've saved him rather than just sort of grossing him out? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't eaten him yet. Are you still <laughs> just gonna watch? Well, I'm, I can't eat him now because he's actually being talked to. Right. I want to know where this damn town is. So can I ask him to ask, say, can I say, um, can, well, can I take off his mask? mask and we save yeah. you from the wolves. What okay. to do? Show us where the town is. Okay, you can remove him from. You can remove his. You remove his mask. Yep. Um, his face. It's. It's got more red symbols across it. It's fairly ordinary. It's. It's what you expect. He's got short hair, um, but you also notice that his teeth. Slightly larger than a regular human's, and and now that you're up cl- up close, you notice his fingers are slightly longer, um, as well. But that's that's all you notice that's odd about him. Um, it's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap. But uh, that's all you notice about him. But uh, and then but he sees who you what you are. I think he's quite disappointed. He was expecting some sort of massive like godly beast, and it just turns out to be a tree. But uh, it's just, <laughs> but but you're 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 smiling at him as you take the mask off, and he's quite comforted by that. Um, that was a tree smile. And, he's, and, <laughs> <laughs> and then he pats you. That's a good tree. Which direction is the town in? Oh, the, uh, oh, the town. Um, I'll tell you. Um, as soon as you let me go, please let me go. I don't want to be left here. I'll, I'll, I'll come with you. I'll, I'll help you. I'll, I'll carry your stuff. Anything. Just just let me go, please. I don't recommend letting him go. No, I just okay. Is my turn ended now? Well, you can react to it unless someone else wants to do something. I don't. I'll, I'll read his mind. If if, if, you if, if read I his, can still do it. You want to read his mind? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll roll for it. I don't know if he's bluffing or not. Oh yeah, he's got a willpower of two, so you, you can get him right, right in there. Have I got? Fiddle around. I got. Um, well, I got better willpower than him. So yeah, well well, well done. <laughs> Well done, Adam. Well done. <laughs> okay, so he, you read his mind, and you can you can't find anything that would suggest that he would stab you in the back. Okay. He seems genuine. His past is cut is clouded though. Even he doesn't know how he got there. Should we ask or, the depressed person what he thinks? The depressed person, what? Should we ask Marshall what he thinks of this random guy? Because he seems to be in the same sort of state of mind. Marshall. Oh, Augustus, yeah. Clouded. All right, okay. Um, so, yeah, you've read his mind, and that's that's what you can find. You can't find anything that would suggest he's going to be... He's gonna, okay. Be, okay. Uh, Augustus, what are you doing? Are you still just sipping away from your hip flask? Okay, so I uh, stand... Sorry. Uh, okay, so I stand up, I walk over to him and, uh, take, a close look, and uh, take a close look at his uh, scarf. Things. Right. And uh, how badly wounded is he? He's not wounded at all. There's a bit, bit of chafing where he's been tied up, but that's about it. Sure. He's still tied up. He's still chained up, by the way. But yeah, yeah, he's he, he's he's pretty healthy. He's he's got the symbols as you look up close. They're not actually tattoos. They look like they've been in, like embedded in him, rather than sort of on the surface or like whether or the, they're not like burns or anything. They look like they've been put there by some sort of spell or something. Okay. But but you got you don't read anything in his mind that suggests that it, he had any involvement in that. 
Okay, he's a, he's a torture thing. Is, yeah. is he a bound? Is he bound to this post by ropes or chains? Uh, chains, iron iron chains, which wrap round the rock and have a groove at the back, which stops it from just being lifted lift over the rock. I don't trust him because. Can I tie him up right. with my rope? Yeah. Yeah. Them so if I, if I let what? Him go, put him, what? Him, up put him on a lead. lead. Put him on yeah. a lead and tie him to like one of your branches. You could. What if it's could I jump again? Yeah, could I step in and offer okay. him, offer him freedom for okay. being my sort of mule? What? My slave. <laughs> Are you gonna so oil him up? <laughs> <laughs> okay. He can he can hold your box of kittens for you. Yeah. Okay. How are you going to set him? Free? He's like he. Okay. He welcomes this. He's. Oh, thank, thank you, thank you. I, 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 I'll keep up to my word. I'll do anything. Just, just take me with you. Okay. So, so he, yeah. He, I, how are you going to break him free? I use a very small but tight flame to well through the chain. How do you cast uh, this? How, how? What? What action do you do? How do you? Uh, I take a large amount of surface area of my skin and <laughs> okay. compress it into a small amount of area. Right. And I've got my hands out in front of me like this. I do cut. And I take a deep breath. <laughs> tiny jet stream through oh, my hands, which have a ignited flame yeah throughout my hands as ignited flame yeah so I, I, I blow out a tiny little whistle oh yeah of air yeah into into the chain about three meters further away from his foot right don't burn him and, right. It, and it cuts through the chain because it's so hot yeah um okay okay that's pretty good yeah um yeah it melts the chains um so they they come loose and he he gets burnt a little bit, but he he does he's not thinking about that right now. He's thinking about you know surviving at the moment, so he doesn't he couldn't care. Um, so he's he's loose. What who's gonna act first? He doesn't do anything. He just he he looks around. He can he can see now. So he's looking at his surroundings, seeing where he is. He, he's looking at all of you. He's a bit puzzled when he sees Frank, but <laughs> he's never seen a jelly before. Now he knows um, and he's absolutely mortified at Augustus because he's never seen an undead before. <laughs> so, but, but he's he's but, he's but he, he trusts you. You set him free. He feels a sense of you know belonging. French. Yeah. Doesn't um, he doesn't he uh, okay. anything? Doesn't he be like what? Oh the yeah. Hell? Okay. Hell? Okay. Um, hang on. <laughs> 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 All right. Yeah. You you set him free, and he says, um, uh, I. I cannot thank you enough, strangers. No, friends. I'll take you to the town. 